Okay, we're joined by uh, Professor Patrick uh, Thornton. Uh, pr uh, Professor, loads of interesting things at the conference today. The, the drug that came up quite a lot was uh, Venataclax. A um, lot of talk about that. It's not actually available in Ireland at the moment. Just tell us a little bit about the background to that. Okay, so Venataclax is uh, it's a tablet. Uh, it's one of the, the newer treatments for CLL and it, it works incredibly well. It works in all patients and it also works in patients where chemotherapy doesn't work, people with, for example, P53 deletion. Strictly speaking, it's, uh, it is available to a set population of patients in Ireland. It's, it's part of a, a, a large trial we're doing called CLL13. Uh, and this is a trial uh, as part of the large European German CLL study group uh, for newly diagnosed fitter patients with CLL. And Venatoclax is the backbone for three out of four of the treatment arms of that trial. And uh, it, it, the, the information on that trial if, is available on the Cancer Trials Ireland website. However, it is only a clinical trial and that is only for new patients and fit patients. Uh, this drug is useful in patients who have relapsed. That means their CLL has been treated previously and uh, their disease has come back again. In that scenario, currently, we would treat patients with something called B cell receptor inhibitor. One of those drugs is ibrutinib, the other drug is idololysib. Those drugs work very well, but when they stop working, that is where we need the drug venatoclax. The efficacy of this drug has been proven very, very well uh, as, a, as, a, as a suitable drug to use in those situations. It's much better than chemotherapy, it works well in relapse, and it will salvage people who ibrutinib or idolysis of this field. Better than that, if for example, you, we have two B cell receptor inhibitors, ibrutinib and idolysis, if one of them doesn't work, you could argue, well, use the other one. That will only salvage a minority of them whereas using Venatoclax will salvage much more of those people and rescue them. So it's, 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 it's a treatment which now we're coming to the fourth and fifth year of ibrutinib and idololysib, we're actually starting to see people where this drug has stopped working. And currently in Ireland we have a licensed drug uh, in Europe, it's licensed in America, but we're unable to provide that drug for Irish patients. The reason for that is that when drugs go through a license, they have clinical trials, they're licensed drugs, we're allowed to prescribe them, but the state has to agree to fund them because these drugs are very expensive. You couldn't afford to pay for it yourself. Um, and so the state has to agree on a price with the pharmaceutical company to fund this drug. And obviously the state has other, other pressures of other things to fund, but it's currently in that limbo where the drug has a license, but the drug is not funded and uh, patients cannot avail. Is that likely to change soon? Um, well, one would hope it's going through what's called a, a technical review uh, and so therefore the benefit and the economics uh, to pay for that drug, whether we're able to do it, whether we feel it's the, the HSE feel it's justified to do it. Um, that is the current process that's going on but unfortunately in anti-cancer medicines, you know, this seems to take longer and longer and other pressures come in and that's the problem we have. And I don't think haematologists are unique in that complaint. Everyone will think their drug is the most important and whether it not even be in cancer, whether it be in multiple sclerosis or cystic fibrosis, uh, there's a pot to go around and we have to make the case for our, our own drug and, and that's where we are at the moment. Okay, Professor Thornton, thanks to David Thornton. Thank you, thank you.